What's going on everyone and welcome back. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Folks, I told you this video here was going to show another satellite photo of Mars. Now this goes back to the Mariner 4. This is July 15, 1965. Now when you see this, you're going to go, okay, clearly this is a low res photo, but wait until you see this low res photo. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to blur it up a little bit just to make it smoother and not so grainy. And then we're going to pull out what we can out of this photo. And folks, even back then they were centering these photos. Let's just get right into it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, you can see right here, Mariner 4, image of craters of Mammonia Fossae of Mars, right? And you can see the description right here, July 15, 1965, Mariner 4 image showing craters in the Mammonia Fossae region of Mars. Now, right here to the right, halfway down, you can see it says right here, the large crater cutoff through the center at the right of the frame is 197 miles or 56 kilometers diameter and you can see right here, folks, you can see eh, it's about half, maybe almost 70% of the crater in the frame. And of course, the rest of it's outside the frame. But that's 197 miles or 56 kilometers. Now, what I find interesting about this photo, let me just zoom into this. Folks, I can see shapes in the air and I don't have to do a damn thing to it. First of all, we have this whitened area and I'm going to show you that real quick. Look at this 90 degree angle, top left, right there. Just down below it to the right, another 90 degree angle. You can see a straight line going back to the left-hand side of the screen, just about at the edge. Another very faint line. This white area, look at closely. I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. You can see what looks like a dotted line or something right here. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. This crater at the top, according to them, it's a crater. You can see something right there. That's a nice round circle, but it looks like something is actually straddling this crater. You can see that it's not inside the crater because you can see the center of it and it goes out like legs past the outside diameter of the circle right okay now folks let me just jump right into photoshop and show you this this is cool all right here's the photo right here we blew it up quite a bit this is only 12.5 percent this is what it originally looked like this would be 12.5 percent right here now you can see we blew this way up why because we want to try to bring out as much as this as we can now again we have top left Right there, we have this other 90 degree corner right here. And of course we have this very faint line right here. But folks, look at this area here. Again, we have what looks like this piece right here, almost like a 90 degree right there. I'll try to do this in the darker colors, you can see this. But look at this dotted line right here, right? And it almost looks like there's something right here and something right here. Very grainy photo. I still think even back then they had a lot better photos. Think about this, 1965. We know that the photos and the cameras are pretty darn good back then. We know from spy satellites and everything else what kind of quality they can take and what kind of photos. And they can see basically you sitting in your backyard reading a newspaper even back in the 50s and 60s. So you know as well as I do, the photos are better than this, right? Again, top left on this side, going a little bit lower, down into the right right there, and you get this faded line. But what really intrigues me is this right here, almost center to the right. We have this, what looks like a round crater. And we have what looks like legs of something going out like this, coming in. Like almost like it's coming into the center and there's something large right here, right? At least that's the way it appears, right? Okay. So what I do is I try to bring this out the best I could. Let's put a little blur into this and see if we can't get rid of some of this graininess. Okay. It is blurrier. However, you can see this a little bit more solid now. See this? A little bit better. Nice faint line right here. We have another 90 degree angle right here. And again, we still have this right here. Okay. All right. Let's keep going with this. So the first thing I did was this. Just kept going down. Again, there's that line right here. And we have these 90 degree angles right here and a faint line. And this crater. Okay, let's keep going. All right. All right. Right here we have this. And look closely. You can see, again, what looks like like legs or something. Like something on the middle or at the center. It's like it's 
on top of the crater, and it's got footing or something like that to hold itself above and in the center of the crater. Again, we have this object. Nice 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree here. And you can see what looks like a cutout or something right here. Okay. Now, this is what I decided to do. Let's go back to the original. And I tried it a different way, folks. Let me show you right here. Okay, went down, all the way down to equalize. Okay, went over to adjustments and then brightness. Bring that down. Okay, notice things are starting to show a little bit more elevation. It looks like it's sticking out a hair bit more. See that? See that right there? Check that out, folks. Okay, let's bring it out like this. Let's throw a little blur into that. I did it right around 30%, believe it or not, because I'm trying to get rid of as much of this graininess as we can. And folks, this is what you end up with. Again, these pieces here, like they really went to town to try to hide this stuff. And you can see different elevations now. Almost looks like this is almost square right here. You can see something right here, like another angle right there. Look how they whited out certain areas of this. I believe it looks like structures, folks. It looks like hundreds of structures laying here. And let's say I'm wrong, and I could very well be. When I bring out this piece right here, you'll see that a little bit better, this so-called crater. You got something down here in the very bottom center. Looks like there's straight lines going into this a crater, right? Okay, so let me show you what we did. Here it is right here again. Notice, just look at the, what look like shapes in here, folks. Look at this. Okay, and again, this right here alone is not natural. And folks, we don't have to do anything to the photo. I can see these perfectly right here. Just this area alone. Forget about anything else. Forget about doing anything to this photo. That shows me that this is a walled city or something very large sitting here. But that would have to be pretty large because even the distance from there to this side, it almost looks like it's as wide as this crater on the right-hand side right here. Look at the width of that. That's crazy. Okay. Let's keep going. So from here, get rid of some of the graininess and then bring down some of the brighter areas. Let's keep going with it. I try to bring out more and more of this. Try it a different way to do what we can to get it out. Now you can see I enhance this right here. Because you can see this is actually a circle. You can actually see that in the original if you look here. Right there. You can see that's actually circular. Okay. Folks, check this area out right here. Pretty cool stuff, right? Here. Notice how we have something that looks like this here is doing this, but then it kind of goes into the rest of this. 90 degrees again. See that? Got these areas right here. You can see what it looks like. Five little circles right here. What's the chances of that being like that in a row? Okay, let's keep going. Folks, I don't know about you, but again, if this is 196 miles across, and again, we're only seeing half to maybe 70% of this crater, you know, if this is 197 miles, what is this whole swath area? We're probably talking 600 miles across. To me, I'm seeing what looks like remnants of structures. Now, don't get me wrong. Let's just say the resolution is trash. Okay, but you know as well as I do the cameras weren't that bad. Come on. Again, folks, just this item alone and just this alone right here shows me intelligence. Something built these objects here on Mars. Folks, take a good look at these areas right here. And look at the objects in between. Now let's go back to the original. I'm going to go back and forth. Look at any area in here. And look for the lines. Okay. Folks, you can see this stuff. It's right there. Bring some of the dark areas up. Bring some of the light areas down. And check that out. This here, this area here was practically invisible. But you can see it right here. And then it kind of like stops. You don't really see it too much until you bring it out. This area right here, that's actually there. Okay. Go back and forth and check out the shape 
right there. I can see that as plain as day without even having to do this. However, if you're just perusing over these photos and didn't really take a closer look, you'd say, ah, oh, it's some grainy piece of trash. I can still see them. There you go, folks, right there. Pause it right here, have a closer look. And there you are. Folks, when I first looked at this photo, I saw what looked like 90 degree angles. I saw what looked like a round crater, at least it looked like that, with something over it with legs that supported it. That's what it looks like from the satellite view, right? And then as you get into this more and more, you start to see higher areas and lower areas a little bit better. We've seen that crater on the right-hand side, maybe half to 70% of it, 197 miles across. I believe that's anywhere between six, 650 miles diagonally across that swath of area. What do you guys see? Like I said, what I see, it looks like remnants of structures. They did their dawn just to try to hide what's in the photo, and the photo's actually better quality than what we're seeing, and they did some centering to it. As always, folks, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got some more cool ones coming up, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.